Hello everybody and welcome to my 11th advanced Excel tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to tell you how to import data from a separate spreadsheet. Um, so this is um, pretty much the same as the last tutorial um, except obviously the last tutorial was on a, a database rather than from a spreadsheet. Um, so I'm just going to get started. So in order to import from a spreadsheet you go to data import external data and import data then I'm just going to go to the mail merge data that I use for the mail merge tutorials um, so you just select whichever spreadsheet you want to import data from click on open um, and then it will come up with a list of the sheets within that uh, spreadsheet and then you've also got this box here that says first row of data contains column headers so um, my memoage data does so I'm going to leave that ticked uh, click OK and then I'm just going to do it within the existing worksheet so click OK again and then you'll notice here that this has now brought through all of my data from the uh, the other spreadsheet now the only problem with this um, is that it will lock down um, the the other spreadsheet so other people can't use it um, they'll only be able to open it in read only um, so one thing I would do is just right click on it go to edit query um, and then you're in here in your connection text under mode just get rid of the shared and I write uh, and write in read um, and click OK and then when you refresh this, it's only going to be doing it as read-only rather than um, uh, denying any write. It will still lock it down, unfortunately, but it means that you don't need to have access to the solely to the file because you only open it as read-only. Um, and then that's it. So that's how you import from a, a spreadsheet. Um, again, it's just refresh data as before um, and also if you want to put uh, any formulas down the side uh, then just go to data range properties and make sure that fill formulas in columns adjacent to data is ticked. Um, some of you might be wondering why you'd use this um, why not just have the data in the sheet itself um, the main reason for it that I've ever used is um, and I'm not going to use a database rather than a spreadsheet to be honest but if you haven't got access to Microsoft Access um, then just in the properties set it to refresh on open um, and then you if you have a validation so let's say you've got um, you've got a spreadsheet that has kind of uh, the, say everyone's favourite numbers um, and you've got lots of sheets that need to reference them, those favourite numbers so in each of those sheets that reference it you'd you'd just have them going referencing it using uh, an import query um, and then whenever any, anybody's favourite numbers changed rather than changing all the individual spreadsheets that are referencing it you just change the the one central spreadsheet um, it just saves a lot of time and effort uh, it's very similar to the um, using style sheets in uh, with, with web development or, or kind of normalization in, in database uh, development um, so that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a web query. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.